Good morning. Thank you for joining us. My name is Erica. I'm Olive. And we're just going to be taking you through a short yoga sequence this morning to get your body loosened up, woken up, and allow you to be grateful for this day ahead of you. We're going to begin today in child's pose. So I'll just have you come down to the ground and you can be on your yoga mat or just on the carpet at home, really whatever you have available. So for child's pose, you can either have your knees together or you can have your knees wide apart, whatever feels more comfortable for you. You can also put something underneath your knees if that doesn't feel real good on your knees. So I'm going to start with my knees wide apart and then we're just going to walk our hands forward and we're just going to allow our head to bow down toward the earth. And here, just taking a few nice full breaths to move all the way from the low back, all the way to the upper back, so that it feels like your whole back is filling with air. And just ah, yawning out, waking up to the day. Ah, waking up. And we're going to take this moment just to give thanks for this day. So give thanks for your fingers, for your toes. Give thanks for the front of your forehead and your nose and your legs and your breath and the beat of your heart. And in this moment, I want you to decide what it is that you want for your day. So if you want to be happy, or if you want something special for breakfast, plant that seed right now. So we're just going to walk our hands now over to the right. So just walk your hands over to the right and make a moon shape with your body. So your legs stay in the exact same spot, only now our arms just curve over. And just a couple of really nice full breaths over to the right hand side. Then walking your fingers back to center. Now curve your body over to the left. Just make a nice moon shape with the left side of the body. A couple of really full, nice breaths. And then walking your hands back to center. So you're going to move up now into a tabletop position. So your hands are going to be right underneath your shoulders and your knees are right underneath your hips. We're going to put our tiptoes in the floor and then we're going to raise through our bottom. So really raising high. We're going to move into downward dog. In downward dog, you can have your feet wide, which I like to do, especially in the morning. So you're just kind of warming up your back, warming up the hips, and really getting your feet nice and wide. So you can kind of wiggle it out here, pedal your feet out, get your body nice and warmed up to the day. And you really want to think here about stretching through your back and stretching through your arms, so nice and long through the front of the body. So if you have to have your knees bent to get your arms longer, you go right ahead. Or if you can straighten your knees and that feels good, then you can certainly do that too. Taking one more breath in this wide downward dog. And then moving your feet closer together. Now, wag your tail just like a dog and shake your body awake. From here, we're going to move back down into tabletop, and now we're going to be moving into cat and cow. So I'll go ahead and go forward just a little bit. There you go. And then we're just going to curve our backs, our belly drops, and our head lifts, and this is cow. And here you can just give out a little good morning, moo, and then Curving the back up, 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 curling your spine. This is called cat. And you can give it a good morning, meow, meow. 
meow. And then curving our belly down. And curving the belly up, 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 up. Meow. And then curving the belly down. Good one, Olive. And then curving the belly up. Meow. Now we're going to tuck our toes one more time and lift our hips really, really high back in the downward dog. You can wag your tail again if you want to. You can even give a little bark if you want. <laughs> and then we're just going to walk our feet all the way up to our hands. And here you're just going to hang your arms. Still you might not be quite awake and you're almost like you're a zombie here just sweeping your hands across the floor. You can grab opposite elbows if you want to move into what is called a rag doll. So here your body just hangs free. Take a couple of nice full breaths here. And then let your hands drop back down to the earth. If you need to give your knees a nice bend so that your hands reach the floor, no problem. And then on your next breath in, you're going to put your hands right in front of your shins and then just lift your body halfway so your back is nice and flat, parallel to the earth. And then on your exhalation, you're just sweeping down the backs of your calves, curling back and curling back. And then hands back in the front of the shins as you breathe in, flat back. And breathing out, hands go back down the backs of the legs, curling in, curling in, curling in. Now you're going to let your hands move all the way up the backs of the legs, coming, rising up, rising up like the sun. We're just going to turn forward, all of so they can see us, and we're going to gather our breath all the way up, all the way like the sun. Maybe give just a little bit of a back bend. And then exhaling, our hands come down through the center, through prayer position. We're going to take just a moment to say something that we're thankful for today. Today, I'm thankful for you, Olive. Thank you. What are you thankful for today? I am thankful for being here and I'm thankful for you. Yes. So now we can just take turns telling each other what we're thankful for. And then we're going to take another breath in, gathering the breath back up above the head, just like the rising sun, really stretching out. And then swan diving forward, letting our bird arms flap all the way down, gathering our little fish all the way down by your feet. And we're going to curl back down. And then sweep your hands back up the backs of the legs. Drawing up like the sun one more time, gathering the sun. And then this time, we're going to let our hands come to rest on each other, Olive, and we're going to move into a tree pose just to wake ourselves up. So really slowly, I want you to take your, your left foot, Olive, but we're going to say or tell everybody it's the right side, so it'll be everybody's right side here. We're going to walk, walk, walk our tree leg all the way up to our thigh if we can, and then we're going to walk our arms up. Up, up, stretch your up, outer arm all the way up. Let your branches wave, and you can wiggle your fingers out there if you want. Let the, let the sun get your branches. Take a nice big breath in, and then we're going to gather everything back down as the wind is rising. The tree's coming back down as we go. And then we're going to move our other leg out. So this time it's going to be your left leg, our right, Olive. Okay. Okay. So we're gathering, gathering up, letting our branches grow, letting our branches grow. Stretch up to the sunshine. You're so happy to be a tree, so happy to be alive and to be awake this morning. And then letting your branches come back down, back down to the earth. And this time we're going to let our whole body, our whole tree, melt back down into a little seed, just squatting our knees. Getting a good squat, and you might hear some cracks in your knees this morning, or your ankles, your toes. And then we're just going to grow our whole body back up. So just stretching, stretching back up, letting your hands come above your head. 
and then squatting back down, turning back down as you lift the spine up and up. What did you want to plant in your day today, Olive? Um, happiness. Happiness, that's an awesome one. And I'll plant that everyone is nice and healthy today. So now we're going to move back into downward dog. So I'll have you go back to your mat. Moving back into downward dog, just stretching out one more time. We're going to lift your right leg all the way up. And this is called the three-legged dog. And that leg that's up in the air is going to come all the way forward in between your hands to a lunge, and you're going to let your back knee drop, hands come up on the front knee, and then we're just bending through that front knee, and just letting the whole body stretch out. You might even want to stretch your arms up. Again, you're so happy to be alive, you're breathing in, and then exhaling, your arms come back down to the earth, lift your back knee up. And then bring your foot back, moving in the downward dog one more time. Now lifting the left leg with your breath in. Three-legged dog. Coming forward, moving the foot between the hands, and dropping the back knee once again. This time the hands come to the left knee, and we're just stretching out one more time. Breath all the way up and in. And breath all the way out. Hands back down to the earth, lifting your back knee. And this time we're going to bring that back foot all the way. So we're going to walk it up, walk it up to your hand. Let it meet and we're going to hang back down. And then breathing in so that the backs of your hands massage out your legs one more time, gathering everything up from the earth. And then bring your hands into the heart. We're going to take your right leg and stab it backwards. And then you're going to let your back foot, yep, perfect, just come to an angle. Front foot faces forward. And we're going to breathe in, bringing our hands up into warrior one. So that front knee is bent just a little bit. You're going to bend that front knee. And then your gaze is nice and steady at the horizon. So you're soft and strong, like a peaceful warrior. You're strong. You are strong. That's right. And then just let your feet come forward. And then we're going to turn the other direction. And bending that front knee, you can give it, I am strong. I am strong. Moving into warrior one. Take a nice full breath in. And a full breath out. And you're going to move to the long edge of your mat now so that your toes are going to be pointed in and your heels are out. So you're a little bit pigeon toed. So your toes are going to face in. There you go. And then we're just going to walk our hands down our legs very slowly. Just offer your heart down to the earth. A nice forward fold. Let your head hang. Again, you can let your arms just sweep. Maybe this time like an elephant. Just an elephant trunk sweeping back and forth. Little elephant sound there. Elephant flying. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that one, Olive? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to slowly walk our hands back up our legs. Good. Let your hands come back to your heart and then just heel toe your feet back together. I'm going to come back here by you so we can gather back to the center. I'm going to say one more thing that I'm thankful for today, Olive. I'm thankful to have a lovely home. Yeah. Are you thankful for that too? Yeah. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring ourselves back down into that squatting position. We're going to plant that back down into the earth, and we're going to move back into our child's pose. So this time, maybe we just keep our knees together if that's comfortable. And we're just going to stretch back down. And let all of that work that we just did melt into the earth. Very 
walking your hands back to your legs, sitting up into hero's pose, so your hands are just resting on the tops of your thighs. Let your heart feel strong, so maybe just placing one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly, just notice your breath. Feel how it feels so good to be alive. We thank you all for joining us here today. Good morning to you all, and may your day be filled with blessings. Namaste. Namaste.